everyone, my name is Jocelyn and this is my testimony. Today, I will be sharing my experience and what God has taught me during this pandemic. 2020 was a tough year. Tough year for everyone, tough year for me and my family. But a year ago, I was diagnosed of stage 3 cervical cancer. I was devastated and scared at the same time. Meeting and talking to my doctors at the Cross Cancer. Talking about what are my best options of treatment. I have radiation, chemotherapy, and brachytherapy. These treatments will prevent me from having another baby. I was okay with it, as I'm already blessed with two handsome boys. After a month of planning and preparing for my treatments, it's finally happening. Treatments started and days goes by. Daily visit for my treatments at the cross cancer was scary, especially with this virus spreading around. It's getting harder and harder. Not only the pain I feel, but also the loneliness inside of me. As I don't get to see and get near my family, I felt so alone. <laughs> Why is this happening now during my hard time? I cried every night thinking, am I going to make it? <laughs> or will I be cured? The anxiety is getting worse. I cried myself to sleep. I even got to the point of questioning God. Why me? Why giving me a non-stop trials over the past years? But then I realized after all that, <laughs> I know God is in control. I know God has a purpose why He put me in this situation. And because of those trials, I got even more closer to Him and to my loved ones. Everyone helped me get through the years with all the support, love, courage and prayers from everyone I know I am not alone I know I will be healed and soon will be cancer free just like what the Bible says on Romans 8 28 and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose during this pandemic it is easy to see bad things happening all around us. Despite of what is happening now, the virus, the pandemic, we really need to be more grateful and thankful on all the things that God has given us. Even if it's good or bad, God is with us no matter how hard or difficult we're in right now. God is at work through it all. Never lose hope and keep our faith that God is the most powerful than anything. Before I end my testimony, I just want to thank everyone who helped pray and still continuing on praying for me. Thank you so much. God bless us all.